Hello everyone and welcome to the presentation video of our capstone project Yoga Fit. Before we dive in, we would like to express our gratitude to our mentor, Dr. Panisa Panjeta Ma'am, for her continuous support and subject guidance on this project. This project is a culmination of four years of our learning at our beloved institute done by our team members. The team members include Amrind Pratap Singh, Akshat Mehta, Nisu Agarwal, and Rishabh Mittal. The CPG number allotted to our group was 278. Let's begin. First, I would like to introduce you to the problem statement. So the problem statement here is to create a yoga post estimation and a correction app which can comprehend the asanas performed by the user in real time. The app should also provide necessary corrections immediately. The system should be highly accurate and consistent and the UI and the experience of the system should be appealing. The user should also receive a customized report about his training at the end of the procedure. Now let's move to the data set and the methodology adopted for our project. So we have a total of 4,234 images which we have sourced from the internet. Our source was Google Images as well as Pinterest. Some of the sample images can be viewed here. We have divided our image collection into 2,536 for training and 16,918 for testing. Before being passed to the neural network, we use a TensorFlow Lite MoveNet model to find skeletal points on these images. Here is the MoveNet model code. This model takes 192 cross 192 image sizes. The model yields 17 key points, namely each having three parameters. The final CSV file contains a total of 54 columns along with image ID and class. We have also done a slight bit of pre-processing on the CSV files. The CSV files uh, mainly are processed by detecting landmarks in each image and writing them into CSV. These landmarks are also scaled and we also take care not to include images which are not in RGB format. After uh, getting CSV files for all the poses, we combine them into a super CSV file and we add the labels required. After this, we move to training our model. To train our model, we have used a leave one out cross validation technique. In this project, we have used a deep learning algorithm CNN, that is convolutional neural network to feed the flattened feature vector of 17 coordinates, that is a one dimensional tensor, along with dropout regularization to prevent overfitting. We have also used a softmax function in the final layer. Hi, my name is Rishabh and I'm going to take you through how we deployed our application using Firebase. So for our application, we have used Firebase to host, deploy and provide authentication to the user once he logged into our website. So these are the three purposes that we have used Firebase for. So I'm going to take you through how we have used Firebase to deploy our application. So the first initial step that we have to do is that we have to include this firebase.js files, which contains the content that is available on the Firebase application. You can go onto the application where you created your Firebase project and you can extract these components and paste it here. The second thing to deploy Firebase is to firstly be in the correct directory where you have to deploy your application. Then you have to log into your website using Firebase. So the command to log into the website using Firebase is Firebase login. Once you are logged in from the Firebase inside your application with the username that you created a project, then you have to go and go in and initialize your Firebase. This gives you an opportunity to select whether you want to host or not your application. This would provide you an URL where your website will be hosted. Once these two things are done, now you are ready to deploy your application. To deploy your application, it's important to run two commands. That is npm run build, the first command. What it does is that it optimizes the command. It optimizes the website and all the links that are working inside the website to make it quick for the user to access everything inside the website. Once this command runs, it takes initially two to three minutes to run. And once it's done, then you can easily write Firebase deploy. It will create an optimal URL source where you can easily access your website and share the link with all the users that you want to and your website will be deployed on the internet. Hi, 
Hi, I am Nisu Agrawal. Uh, going to discuss about the user interface of our app and also showing automation testing, which we have performed using Selenium with Eclipse ID. Now I am going to run the uh, script which which we have uh, built on uh, Eclipse ID. After clicking on the run button, our app is open and in the script, firstly, we have run the login button in which user firstly enter the email ID and then a password. And then after uh, password, the sign in button is clicked by this uh, Selenium script. And then uh, now uh, the uh, scroll uh, now the scroll button of uh, the all the poses like trees chairs and cobras are there and in which in the script we have selected the cobra so the cobra button is clicked and now the start pose button is uh, clicked now the whole process uh, the poses uh, will be performed by the akshat so thanks